All right, everybody, quick update. I got a bunch of stuff in the mail. So, got the headlights. Got the plugs for the transmission uh, on the radiator, transmission lines. So I can take these nasty, crusty things out. Put this in. It just blocks off that hole. Let's see, what else we got? We got... Um, blinker and parking lights we got some other lights we got um fuel pressure sensor we got the splice to put the fuel pressure sensor in we got lug nut cover things we got lug nuts i don't even know what's in this one what's in this one? Oh, we got a rear view mirror boom check it out freaking headlight working on that one right there got the new plug for it also got an intake right there actually just broke that bracket off and put some paint on it and those lug nut covers go here just a replacement for all of these um yeah wiring stuff up and I got one of the plugs in right there. See it? Looks much better than the rusty one I had in there. So I'm going to keep working on this stuff and uh, see what I can get done before it gets dark. All right. Bye. Yeah, the brakes are definitely something to be desired. some work done to figure out this transmission before I go to work and reading on the forums whatever transmission won't shift this that whatever um, normally it's like the switchable power or something not working so what I did was I double check the switches and it was loose like I just could just pull it off so I retighten them so they're on there tight now but what I just found out I couldn't get under there I had to jack the truck up was <clears throat> um, you have to have the vehicle speed sensor hooked up and like a dummy I hooked up the turbine sensor because it's a 4L60 and not the vehicle speed sensor all right here we are underneath and right here, I don't know if you guys can see this, that is the turbine speed. And what I should have hooked up was this one, the vehicle speed. Apparently, they'll both plug into there. So, I'm going to try and unplug that and plug the correct one in. And hopefully we should be good if I can get my hand in here. Uh, unplug that. Yep, they're the exact same plug. What an idiot, bro. What an idiot. All right, so let's reroute this one. I'm about to put you guys down. All right, bye. I think it's working, guys. It's rating speed and everything now, so.
steering wheel is a little bit off um, just that much so I just need to rotate steering shaft a little bit that way so that's what I'm about to do just go down there rotate that a little bit that way and we'll be good and I do have quite a bit of threads left on this tensioner so maybe get that steering completely adjusted tight well not completely because then it'll lock up but yeah i'm thinking about taking it on its full like first 45 mile an hour run today uh to go to lunch and meet a friend um the only really thing i know is i'd like to put a bolt in this cowl thing over here i don't have the backside nut to secure it so let's put a bolt in there it's just for temporary whatever and uh yeah man it's unrealistic to think that this thing is actually done, guys. Like, done, done. So, done, done, done. But there she is. Look at her. I do not like the size of those tires. Those tires are way too small. And it definitely makes me want to lower this freaking thing a good bit. So, <laughs> it's probably the next thing I'm going to do is lower it. Uh, yeah, well, that's the plan. But, yeah, I'm going to mess with this a little bit, get it tightened up a little bit, steering and all that. Cal hood in, got to figure out the windshield wipers, and then probably make another list of everything that needs to be done. This is definitely going to be a all the windows down kind of truck, because it's not even summertime and I'm hot. Make a race car. It'll be fun, they said. <clears throat> not so much. Yeah. I mean, it's not too horrible, but we are just sitting. I couldn't, like, drive this thing in, like, horrible traffic, which I think we're about to go sit in because of the time of day it is. And I'm meeting my buddy for lunch, so... up the first drive uh, good drive what I found out was my proportioning valve is leaking uh, so I need a new one of those and then uh, I lost something something metal clink clink down the road um, yeah I think it was probably a tool just left under the hood or somewhere and it came out so that's the only thing I can think of I do have been a tool because um, I checked underneath and looked under the hood and didn't find anything well it's a uh, hot in here so i'm gonna go inside and see if i can find a local proportioning valve and take the truck up there and get it hi right, guys <sighs> this feels so good first drive and it was like drove it for probably 45 minutes well like mm, 30 minutes the first time and then like probably 15 20 the second time so an hour full of driving um almost right back to back so she seems to be doing pretty good <laughs>